Hey everyone, it's Michael here with another special release day edition of First Play, the series where we take a look at games for the first time and discuss design. Today we're looking at Spry Fox's new game, and they're most famous for their puzzle game Triple Town, but this is Road Not Taken. I've been looking at this forward for this release for a while now, so uh, let's just uh, jump right in as it looks like it's uh, doing for us already. Nasty Storm Space. Uh, oh, clicking in the window is an important part of this. <laughs> uh, space dot dot dot. I guess I'm one of those silent protagonists, as is a common theme. Some villagers were out harvesting berries. They didn't make it back. Okay, guess that alludes to the winter storm that we just saw in the opening credits here. They rarely do. Okay, that's not good. Help! Alright. We must help this damsel in distress. Use arrow keys to move. Alright, that looks like I only turn left and right. There's no up or down animation there. Oh, bump into her. Blizzard caught us while we were out picking winter berries. Space. I was separated from my daughter. I've been looking for her for hours. I knew we'd both freeze to death if I didn't find help. So, I guess she's the only one who's made it back. I thought no one made it back, but sorry, I'm not sure what the uh, little display up on the top right is, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Stand next to a tree and press space to pick it up. I like this tree better. Oh, so I've got some mystical power. Press space to toss your bur burden. Okay, I noticed I lost some magic power when I moved the tree. I wonder, do I lose any when I toss it? No, it doesn't look like... Oops. <sighs> of course, I'm trying new things out and not paying attention to the text. Good job, now head south through the forest. Okay, you can pick up, carry stuff around you. Why does this one have a 2 on it? Okay. Carrying objects drains your energy. Beware. Okay. So you get to kind of throw things for free, but it costs stuff if you want to move it around. Okay, interesting. Put two trees together to unblock the path. Can I toss them over the fence? Oh, match the trees anywhere. Interesting. Huh, okay. Oops. Right, I want to throw. I guess I have to move this one. Energy is getting low. Toss objects. And I can't move now when I'm to the right. Reminds me a um, little bit of a throwback to kind of the chips challenge puzzles in a way. Just kind of navigating terrain, and moving things around. But I mean, there's a lot of puzzle games like that. Oh, my previous path was blocked off. In blizzards, you lose energy every time you move. Eating food gives you more energy. Alright, so food is good. So, okay. I don't really want to find out what happens when my energy goes down. Open the next door, match two trees. Okay, this is the same as we did before. I wonder what happens. I guess I just can't catch the... <laughs> catch the reindeer? Or the deer, whatever it might be. Aha! Can I trap it? Haha! -ha. Oh, and I can lift it up. That's kind of awesome. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Now, see what I'm missing is what the one. I think one of the key elements is going to be that when I move to the left, whatever I have is still on the right, and I still throw it to the right. So you have to be very conscious of the directional part of where you're going. So I guess. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I l oh, I moved both of them. Interesting. Do I lose two energy for that? No, it's still just one. So that's good. Uh, oh, I wanted to put it down and not throw it. So we'll move it down, we'll throw it, and then we can throw it that way. Alright. Oh, I see. This two here means that there's two touching together. It actually is similar 
in a way to the triple town mechanic. It's interesting to see that history come through in the game here. Don't leave without the child. Oh, I threw her down here. It means I have to make, use more energy. Oh, uh, uh, oops. Yeah, this is gonna get, uh... Oh. Wow. This is gonna get really complex pretty quick with some puzzles I can see. Um, this is a very different kind of mechanic for these types of games, I think. Um, it's definitely unique from what I've seen. Mr. Fluffles again. Okay. Year one. X. Oh, so here's my different options. Sound off. Okay, I see I can just change uh, those options directly there. Show inventory. Bunnies! Nice. Um, excuse my phone. So, <laughs> pardon the interruption. Alright, here we go. Year one. Uh, I guess, do I... Oh, I can bump into people to talk to them. Children were out hunting berries. Then bad weather hit. So bad for business. This entire really makes it living off berries. Thought everyone was new around here. So good to meet you. Where are you from? Are you married yet? I'm not. You have no chance to answer as she starts yelling. Hey everyone, someone new just came to town. Uh, Alright, let's go explore the town. Oh, don't run away. Singing at all the funerals. Especially this winter. Alright. Curious about the health bars of everyone. I guess everyone's protective of their berries. There's the band playing our music. Oh, here's a guy with the sign. Let's talk to these people quickly. Medicines. I actually should probably look into getting a new phone. I don't... I haven't found a way to, like, easily turn the ringer off. Um, especially when I forget to do it beforehand, and it starts ringing. <laughs> but, uh... He's the mayor? If, if we if we work, he'll feed us. That's good. So, let's go... Early storm stranded children west of the valley. Training difficult. Ah, uh, yeah, we should save kids. Saving kids is a good thing. Uh, the tip disappeared pretty quick. I think it was mentioning the menu and teleporting to the fountain. Ah, uh, yeah, he just mentioned it there. Teleport to Mare. <laughs> Amazing! Alright, so... Return a child to any parent. Oh, I see. Okay, so we're just basically... Ah, that's what the upper right meter is for, is the number of children saved. So in the last set of levels, we had one child to save, now we have five. Okay, that makes sense now. Uh, oh. Hello. Um, what are you going to teach me? Are you going to teach me about this sign? Bumping into things is a good way to learn secrets. You are a ranger. You have a job. Congratulations on reaching a life goal. <laughs> Rescue kids by reuniting with the parents, bring them back to the mayor. Okay. This is kind of neat to get these little hints by bumping into things. Which doesn't need to be near a door to unlock it. Right, That that's an interesting part. Okay, so I can... Now see, the problem is now, if I let go, it throws the... Oh, I got a berry. I'm not, I guess those are a good thing. So I really have to think about where the tree is going to end up ahead of time. Um, so here, like, in, for instance, I can move this down here and then throw it, and then 
throw it down there. It looks like it goes as far as until it hits something. Um, match the listed items. Oh! Oh, the specific trees make a difference. Okay. That's good to know. So I can throw this over there then. And I can throw this there and down there. So that's one path. Now I'm curious if Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to move this. Ugh. I wanted to bring the trees together to see if it'll remember, you know, that I opened both doors. But for now, we'll just go this way. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, oh, okay. So, that's bad. Um, yeah, if you haven't played Chips Challenge, I would, and and you enjoy this, then then go back and look at that. That's that's kind of a classic. I'm assuming you can play it somehow still, <laughs> since it's <laughs> it's an old Microsoft game. But uh, I I spent hours playing that game. Um, but uh, these are some. This is an interesting twist on on some of this stuff. Uh, it's really well put together. Um, so I guess I just explode these out. I need to put three of them together, but I can just bump the child together. Okay, and then they go away. So there's like, it's kind of really interesting to see how the, the triple town as a precursor plays into this. Oh, the wolf moves. Uh, so now I can punt the kid that way. So that's good. Save two kids. And then I'm just going to bring this tree here. And so now I go like this. And then that lets me go like that. Oh, that would be crappy if I <laughs> block my path out with the trees I'm combining. Uh, okay, so far matching the kids up with the parents doesn't seem that big of a deal. Oh, interesting. So I was able to match two kids with one parent even though they were diagonal. I wonder if that was intentional or not. Hi, parent! Aww. Um, I don't think you get a child now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oops. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really, really slick, very straightforward. Um, again, goes back to those things where, you know, you can just kind of slowly pick up the game. Everything's kind of there. I've got a lot of energy now. Um, I wonder when that's going to be a limiting resource. Okay. Found this book near the hives. Get us out of this sticky mess. So what are these going to do? Oh, got a new key here, Zed. Uh, quality, wholesome, natural food. The bugs, the bug bits in it give you extra protein. Ah, so this is even more triple towny. Three, is three hives going to make honey? Uh, oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Uh, ranger without an axe. Cannot chop wood. Oops. Jar of honey and the uh, oops. I'm trying to get used to the navigation mechanism here. Space lets me go in, and then I can use Z to go back. These are basically same. Two hundred. Wow, there's a lot uh, of things here. And then I'm assuming there's nothing else over here. And then, yeah, it jumps me back to the first page. Okay, let's bump into one of these. Sweeter than your love. Alright, let me... Um, how is this going to work here? Um, so I let go of three, and they were next to each other, so that worked. I can just chunk that there. And, uh, oh no. <laughs> Sorry! Ah, oh, right. So now I can go like this. It's gonna take a little while to get used to. And 
Oh! Okay, so I saved everyone, so now I just... That's it. I can go home. Yay! I saved the children. Oh, and they went back to their respective parents. So, I wonder if that was a bug, or if it was intentional. Because, I mean, I guess the, the hives next to each other um, combined, even though they weren't... Well, they were still... I don't think they were diagonal. Hmm. Curious. Anyway, uh, I guess I'm done here. I just talked to the mayor, maybe? Oh, I'm getting... Cotton, maybe? I'm not sure what I use these resources yet for, so we'll find out. If you haven't been able to tell yet, I'm a big puzzle fan, so this is, uh, this is a really interesting game for me to see how they've taken, you know, their root, not only their roots, but, you know, some of the previous kind of puzzle mechanics that have existed for a while, but really kind of created something not only that that looks amazing and, and feels great, but that is really easy to pick up, um, and that looks like it should uh, provide quite a bit of challenge as we move forward. Um, I'm excited to see how those puzzles evolve, but um, it's, it's a lot different than some of the other things out there. Um, um, that you, you traditionally kind of see with with kind of the, the matching three games and you know they, they kind of turned things up with Triple Town and made things a little different and so it's interesting to see them extend that with this sort of game and uh, I think um, I was reading too that like the levels were um, somewhat randomly generated so if you play again it's going to be different so um, I get more energy. I didn't discover any secrets, so I wonder what those types of secrets will be. I've become part of the village, so I guess I get this house. Yeah, I get a key to a house. And it opens my house. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, I wonder if I, what I get to do in my house. Oh, I have a kitty cat. Oh, ow. Hi, kitty. So happy. Uh, playful cat. I don't have any more info about it. Okay. Um, select one or more charm from your collected charms. Fork. Jar of honey is worth 10 energy. Okay. What is it worth normally? Hmm. Uh, equip? Alright. I've got a fork now. And pots. Okay. Uh, it's nice that the new items go into the top of the list. Oops, the, the cat's in the way. Sorry, cat. I'm trying to look at the big pot. Large pot holds enormous secrets. Okay. Ugh. Alright. Uh, you're a very cute cat, but you're, you're getting a little frustrating right now. Uh, okay, so this is the house key. Um, looks like I need another key for the basement. Newsletter. Nice. That's awesome. I don't know if I've seen that in a game before, where you have, you know, something in the game like that, that's about newsletters or, you know, all those sorts of stuff, and that you actually can sign up in the game for the newsletter. That's that's a neat, um, <laughs> neat way of breaking the fourth wall. So, um, uh, let's see what this pot is. Pot of spare staffs. Okay. I wonder if I get different abilities in the future. Yeah, and there's some connection to the Robert Frost poem, so we'll uh, see if that. Uh, I'm not. It's been a while since um, I've gone through that poem, so I don't know how good I'll be at spotting any sort of. Um, 
Uh, oh, I dropped the... Oh, I'm bumping into the table. Unequipped it. Okay. Well, let's go see what this thing is. So the Shrine of the Forest. Okay. Alright, enough of the house. Uh, I think it'll become more useful in the future. Um, do I get to keep the fork when I leave? Yeah, fork still equipped. Um, oh, I got a coin. Not sure why my screen turned yellow. Um, oh, she's just like a merchant. What happens if I share rice? Pay your taxes in rice or copper. Uh, when am I going to get taxed? Oh, and so now she likes me. Huh. Okay, so there's a whole other side of this game. I was not expecting this. Oh, she's going to give me... Rope of Social Bonds, plus four parents. Easier. Alright, I don't know what that means, but we will try it out. Oh, I can equip multiple items. I wonder if there's a limit. Oh, so now her... Oh, I guess this is to the next heart. There's two bars. Huh, I was not expecting to have a whole town... more RPG element to this. Okay... Oh, she's giving me a welcome gift. Oh, I'm getting more rice. Oh, one rice. Um, I don't know, I think berries seem really important, so I'm going to hold on to that for a while. Money seems important too, I mean just based on the fact that I got ten rice right away, and then I've only got one each of the coin and the berry, so I won't make you my friend yet, I don't know who to make friends with, or I'm gonna, I guess I'm going to make friends with everyone now? Oh. He's handing me a coin. Thank you. Um, you know what? Since you gave me a coin, I'm going to give you one. No, not... Aww. That's ambiguous about how many you're going to give. Um, <laughs> what? Why am I sharing this information with him? That seems like... Oh, she's telling me. Okay. He's telling me about Red's problems. Whoa! So, he gave me a copper. I expected just to give him one copper back. And I would figure that copper, I guess, food's more valuable in this village because they're starving because of the berries. But, wow, only one and a half little things. Wow, that's, um, that's pretty crazy. All right. Okay, you're giving me a copper. All right, I'm not going to... Um, See, I wish this would say, like, how many I'm going to give, and I don't know, um, like, is the black, red, and green because I saw the red before, because, is, you know, is I don't have enough, or is it because the, the good one to make them happier is the green one? So, this is going to be a little interesting to see how this works. Okay, I'll give you the copper back, because you just gave it to me. And then, are you, am I supposed to pay attention to these about who to give what? Buys a gumball with the coins and tries to split it in half. Okay. Oh, her her heart bar is going the opposite way? I guess it's because she's facing the other way. Interesting. Usually for a lot of those UI things, you just have them... They, you know, the, the meters are always facing the same direction, so... About 14 years to the end... So, I wonder what my main objective is besides saving the children at every level. Huh, interesting. Um, like I said, I did not expect to have this whole other aspect to the game here. I was really just expecting the, the puzzle part of it. Um, so this is going to be interesting. Um, but I can't believe that it's already been 25 minutes. Uh, and uh, I'm going to stop here. I'll probably try and do another episode, walk through the next uh, set of puzzles here. I'm uh, very curious about 
what comes next and how this this evolves and combines because that was uh, the surprising element of Triple Town and it seems like they've done it again here so uh, with, a, with a few twists though so very excited to see where this goes on the that road not taken. Uh, otherwise, um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, a uh, special uh, release day edition of uh, First Play. And if you enjoy my series, be sure to uh, check out the link to my Patreon campaign to more, uh, below, and uh, you can support me there and uh, help me uh, make this uh, series a little bit more robust in the future. So before, be sure to check that out. I appreciate it. And otherwise, we will see you next time. Have a great day!